It's Vogadet 952, and that beeping sound is the sound of me getting totally ripped. Kansas, so we're very pleasant today. However, we are looking for a new front to begin to drift south and eastward. The central and eastern parts of Kansas will very probably be cloudy in the morning, and then western Kansas will begin to get increasing cloudiness by tomorrow afternoon. Today, however, very, very pleasant. Good morning. It's Saturday. The little doggos are out in force, and the street is completely blocked by delivery trucks. But I'm on my way to Pushan's to have a morning coffee. I'm bringing the fruit. I was expecting him to come over this morning, but then he asked if I could come to his place instead because he's got a bunch of books he's got to carry. And I said, sure. Why not? I've only got a. Wow, this is pretty narrow. <laughs> you know, I've only got a. It always took me a while to get up, is what I'm trying to say. I, I was just expecting to wake up and make coffee, and now I've got to be mildly presentable. Very mildly. That's about as far as we're going to go with this. Anywho, the nice part is that with the wheel, I can make up for lost time pretty quickly. It's like sprinting the whole way with way less effort. What up? What up? And that's the, kind of, uh, that's the kind of energy levels I've got today. Let's have a coffee. 72 in Garden City. 70 reported by Dodge City and Liberal. 72 in Garden City. Not a good fortune. Yo. Yeah. I thought it was you first. Let's probably zero. Oh, yeah, that's, that's my life. Then, as soon as I say that, it's so frothy. Nice coffee with Pushan, as always. Just coffee and chat. And uh, then I went home, took a little bit of a nap. Read a little bit. I didn't. I, I read for a while and then took a nap. I'm reading the second book that Natasha gave me called If We Were Villains. It's very good. Really enjoying it a lot. Uh, and I figured, you know what? I better go outside and enjoy the sun a little bit. So I'm going to grab a sandwich, head to the park, and then sit out and read a little bit. You know, reading and enjoying a sandwich outside. Any picnic seems like probably the most appropriate way to spend a little bit of time this afternoon. And uh, yeah, I mean, the weather is perfect. How could I not? Not a bad spot to come and sit, enjoy some sunshine, listen to some music, read a book, eat a sandwich. I'm most excited about the sandwich eating portion. I'm just going to get straight to the sandwich eating portion because that's all I really want in life right now. <laughs> I was really worried about that ramp. Figured I'd give it a try, but man, that was a drop at the end. Kept going. Didn't, that didn't fall off. This thing's still running. It just quite the impact. Along that frontal system and that wide band of fairly heavy snow, there's no what will happen. Each time that you see the frontal system on there, that begins at 6 o'clock in the morning, and you see the cloud pattern move. Well, that was lovely. A few more chapters in, a little bit of vitamin D, feeling good. Now I gotta go do laundry. The great ironic tragedy of owning a washing machine and not being able to use it. The update there is that we opted to, I, I think I might have mentioned, we opted to wait for a plumber between my landlady's handyman and I because, well, he's the expert. He would feel more comfortable with a plumber. So we asked her if she was okay with getting a plumber involved and she said yes, but now we've got to wait for all that to come through. The plumber is very busy and hard to lock down and it sounds like I might have to wait until like April. <laughs> but once the day comes, it'll be a glorious day indeed. I'm gonna adjust my, my footing here, hold on. But once the day comes, it'll be a glorious day indeed when I no longer have to Santa Claus my way around the neighborhood with a giant bag of laundry. I can't wait. But anyways, I figured I'd wander my way home now, take a little bit of a stroll of it with the old wheel here, and then, uh, yeah. The other thing for the night, it's interesting because I'm, I'm reading a, uh, a book about thespian murder, 
and I'm gonna be going and seeing a play, which I know one of the women that does it is a thespian. I'm gonna go see a show tonight. My friend, you've seen Charlotte. She's a bike tour guide and then sometimes is a barista at the Peloton. She's a Kiwi. She and Emily, who you've also seen on the vlog at times, they both love to jump in front of the camera whenever the camera's on. They have a theater troupe that they put on a show every few months and I have never been able to go before and I promised them that I would come one of these times and tonight is the night. So I'm gonna try and uh, you know, get most of my stuff out of the way so I can go out and enjoy that. And then there's a, a closing party at Floyd's. Floyd's the bar is closing for good tonight, that dog. Uh, and so also going to that party with Jake, running Jake. So it'll be a fun, busy social evening. So I wanna get as much done as I can before I head into it to make sure that I can enjoy it. So we'll see how much more of this there is. Until two o'clock this afternoon. So as of that time, of course, the front was way off in the Northwest. Now, however, moving into the central part of the nation with a couple of high pressure sex cells behind it. I can't wait till that song and dance is over for the last time. Hopefully in the next month or so. But at least, you know, the washing machine made some nice little space taker upper. I was gonna say space saver. Right now it's just a space taker upper. But in life, in general, someday, it'll save a lot of space. It'll save a lot of time. That'll be the best part. <laughs> Lots of runs to the ATM and attempts to get money out, failing to film the first try, you know. Anywho, I'm trying, I've decided not to work today to try and give myself like a break. I really need to hit the gas. I've got meetings coming up this week. I need to get very ready for it, so I'll do that tomorrow. But since this evening's already supposed to be social and I got a slow start to the day, maybe another nap, more reading, all sounds good to me. Yesterday, I did try the salsa. It's tasty and very spicy. I wanted to make guacamole, but yesterday I couldn't find any good uh, avocados at my grocery store, so I figured I'd buy some at the at the uh, grocer. There's like a um, fruit fruit and vegetable grocer on the way, and he always has good ones. And so they're they're a little bit more expensive, but totally worth it. So I'll make some guacamole here. I also have a tomato and an onion, so I'm really ready to roll. Figured I'd make some guacamole here, and then uh, by the time I'm done making the guacamole, I'll probably have to start walking back that way. This is the inefficiency of having to go to the laundromat. Wait. <laughs> The uh, guacamole mix here is like the smell of it alone is just flashback to all kinds of memories. Chips and salsa, like I said, one of my favorite snacks of all time. I love guacamole. I love it. These are just things that you can't get here very easily. They, you can find guacamole. But in the store and stuff, it's never good. You can make your own, which is what I would prefer to do. But then finding tortilla chips is what's really hard and salsa. And thankfully, I don't have to make my own salsa today. But when I do, I still haven't really mastered like making it the way that I really like it. And I don't know if that's just because there's not the availability of things that I want. Oh, I forgot about the jalapenos. I'm going to put jalapenos in this mix. Not in the guacamole itself, don't worry. But I'm making some tomato. I'm making some stuff to put on the chips and I'll... I'm... Okay, so what I did, I mean, I had to go get my laundry and fold it and, you know, everything else. And I actually edited most of my vlog and I've, I've, I've been fairly productive. But this has been sitting and stewing. And what it is, is basically I cut up a bunch of mimolette, all the cheese that I'm planning on using in on these, like, little vegetarian nachos I'm making. Hold on. Mmm, smells good. So I took all of the tomatoes and onions and jalapenos and just kind of mixed them in with the cheese. It wasn't a lot. Like, just try to keep it light. I didn't want to go overboard with the vegetables on this one. Like I, I was thinking about, normally I put a pico de gallo or something nice and cold over the top of the nachos after they've gone into the oven. But this time I thought that I'd bake it all in and see how it tasted. There's other ingredients that I could have thrown in, but I'm just kind of experimenting. I also, uh, believe it or not, despite how quickly I'm talking right now, was operating on limited energy. And um, so I just did this much. I'm going to put it on and we'll see how it is. But the smell of it, I think it's going to be amazing. And then I got a shower and I'm going to head out. I'll show you a little bit of the Tapis Theater production, whatever. I don't know if I'm really allowed to film while they're, you know, acting and so forth. But go have a good time and tell you how much of a good time I had. And then, yeah, the, the evening is the evening is upon us. It's upon us. I'm going to I'm going to eat this now. Pressure and fairly heavy band of rain showers and snow all the way from the east. Oh, yeah. I gotta eat this and get out of here. I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. 
all good to go, but it doesn't uh, bode well that the metro got stopped like halfway out of the station Saturdays. They're so exciting around here. I'm just trying to get around. All right, theater time. pressure and a fairly heavy band of rain showers and snow all the way from the eastern portions of Montana down to That was a lot of fun. Charlotte, good job. That was great. The performances were really, really fun. There was a broad selection, everything from like spoken poetry to a skit that involved Jeff Bezos as a puppet. Pretty much everything you can imagine in between. It was really, really fun. Definitely got to go back to another one of those. I miss going to like theater stuff. I want to do more of it. And it helps that I'm reading a book about theater murder, you know. Just keeps, keeps the interest levels high. Anywho, I'm gonna head to that closing down party over at Floyd's, and I'll see you guys bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, more madness in Paris. Paris, in Paris, I didn't say that. No, not in Paris. <laughs> Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow.